Hi, I'm Chris from Air Windows, and hey, you can do this. Because this is Air Windows Stonefire Comp. So this is one of the pieces of Console X that I developed in hopes of being able to give people stuff that didn't require quite so many controls as the full Monty, and also that you could get used to working with it. And somebody in one of my live stream chats did ask for that. It's just that I thought up the most recent soft saturation and I had to put that out because it was too crazy. But it's next week and here we have this. So what you can see here is it is very much like the most recent uh, pop compressor. It doesn't have the gate stuff that the most recent pop compressor has. And the ratio control down here is shared among the two compressors and the range control range control is dividing between these two compressors you get a threshold for fire and stone you get attack and release for each and then you get the output level control which is what you would get on actual console x and changes the behavior of it a lot. For instance, you get to boost quite a bit, so you can compress harder, but this still doesn't ever become the kind of compressor like an 1176 with all the buttons pushed in. I do have stuff that does things like that. This isn't one of those. And what it does is modify the sound like a, uh, a Stonefire plugin would do, which is like this. This is the stone band, and this is the fire band, and the range controls how it applies this kind of like filtration. For instance, we can make it go up brighter, or down to next to nothing. And this causes it to be an interesting sort of low frequency focus. We can boost that way. You set the range low enough and you get a sort of spotlight effect on the kick drum because that's what Stonefire is like. But then we can also do this. Now we have the thresholds of both the fire and the stone band kicking in. So we're compressing, but we're like multi-band compressing. You can also boost the output to get a more striking effect. And again, that's not really what this one is about, because this is not really designed to do squish things with compression effects. So what I'm going to do is put these back, and we'll play with it a little bit on a different type of sound, uh, the old track Alien Kittens that I made in a phone many years ago. <laughs> Because with this, we can hear some of what it does and maybe start doing interesting things with it. For starters, if I take the fire band out completely like this, we've got a weird sort of side effect going on. And likewise, if I only have the fire band showing up, we've got a funny sort of mid range thing going on. But then if they're both playing, you don't hear that funny buzzing noise. That's because this is a Kalman filter dividing the two bands. 
And so rather than being frequencies, it's trying to do a sort of smooth GPS style curve. And the way that it reacts to frequencies is not normal. So when you start compressing it, we can compress both of those bands at the same time. And now we hear the funny effect. And now it's acting kind of the same again, except for it's really not, because both of these channels are being compressed individually. We can exaggerate it even more. And let's go find this stone threshold. And we'll boost the outputs. So now what we've got is something a little different. Because it's like a multiband compressor. And the harder we push this compression, here I can let it back up a little bit. About three. We're doing aggressive compressing, and we can even juggle the release to speed that up. And as an end result, we wind up getting a multi-band compression-like behavior, which is still a little weird. And that's even before we start playing with things individually here. For instance, supposing the attacks of our high frequencies are punchier than we want, so we'll speed that up and cut off some of the attacks. And then maybe we don't like the low frequencies. The attacks on those are being squished by the compression so we can slow those attacks. And we end up with this very compressed sound. The, th the thresholds being set here are very compressed and we're using the outputs. Actually, we're only using the fire output. Hang on. Let's crank up the stone output too while we're at it. And again, if we slow the release of both of these, it'll open up a little bit. If we slow the attack on the fire band, which is carrying high frequency sounds, our highs will start poking out more. If we slow the attack of the stone band, the low frequency kicks will start poking out more. But we could also make the low frequency stand out more by increasing the speed of the release, making the release go to a lower setting. And that's making the lows fill out a little bit more. And all of this is b producing a really aggressively weird sound. And because there's that Kalman filter in there, it's constantly throwing variations on a strange distortion that you might have never heard before, unless you're familiar with using Kalman filters, which you'd have to be somebody who was using Air Windows plugins because those haven't really been a thing until now. But we still have that range and ratio control. My range control is set so that only the very highest frequencies are hitting. But the ratio control is giving me the most aggressive form of compression. And that's cool, but we can also take both of those back to normalcy like this. So what you can do is design it to do what you want here.
I'm double clicking by accident and that's causing me to do that. having a tendency to, to jerk around my controls more than I like. A little more in terms of that bassy thump. Maybe slightly lower crossover. And then ratio back to zero. And then I start bringing it up. We start getting the sound effect that the full sound exaggerates a weird exaggerated effect we can use only as much of that as we want and there you have it so yeah this exists because I thought it would be good to let people try out some of the stuff that I've built into Console X, especially since Console X has this exact setup, but with also gate. So you could compress the things in this way. You can compress the things using the range control to break it into the stone and fire bands. And then rather than just offsetting the volumes of them to adjust that, you can also gate them in different ways, have the gating cut out like the low subs more aggressively or less aggressively, or compress them in different ways. And again, it's not really about turning the thresholds down as much as I've done. I did that so that you can really hear what it does, which is a striking aggressive kind of effect. But it's really designed to be able to use this effect more gently in ways that might end up being useful. And some of that's just gonna come in with experience, which is why I'm putting out this plugin. It's also so that if you wanted to use this on something in a separate situation, like say you're analog mixing, but you'd still like to use this on something, well, then you can. Or if there was, if, if you were doing, for instance, a two tape eight or seven for that matter to do saturation processing on a guitar tone but then you also wanted to run it into console x and mix it with that but doctor the sound going in to the saturation processing coming out of two tape you could throw an instance of this on there and then have a form of multi kalman compression going in there if that helped you hit the virtual tape more effectively there's the idea kind of of this is you should have the power to try really wild stuff with a free patreon supported plugin that i give out to everybody no exceptions as i always say and that's what this is for. You've already got the compression in this because I put out uh, the most recent version of Pop. You've already got Stonefire because you've had that for some time. Um, this doesn't have the airband that the full console X has. That doesn't actually have either gating or compression with it, but there was so much going on anyhow that it gets rather overwhelming. The, the mastering plugin that I made, which I've put some of the parts of that out, did end up becoming so overwhelming that I'm not, I don't have great confidence that anybody else is gonna be able to use it effectively. So we do what we can. Anyhow, this is Stonefire Comp. It should be a good way to get some practice in for doing the console X thing. I've got all of the console X stuff coming together. I'm working on the graphics and getting some help with the parts that I need help with. I've got the control surface that I 
ordered and once console x is actually out i will let people have this design although i can't give it to you because it's made by Ailtex in argentina and i am glad that i got to get it before there was all kinds of tariffs and everything but that's a whole other story and i will make that design available i have not even had chances to mix any of the stuff i was going to mix because i'm too busy working on plugins but so it goes. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. I'm going to get back to work on the stuff I'm working on.